One could say she practices the Florence Nightingale Pledge to a T. It's the oath taken when starting nursing school. And this week's Someone You Should Know is faithful not only to her nursing career, but also to her family, her co-workers, and her community. Molly Nelson is described by others as the most positive person you'll ever meet with an unwavering commitment to her community. I'm really lucky to get to do what I do, and I... I just love taking care of this community. Molly is well respected by her peers, providers, and patients, and considered the go-to gal in the nursing department at Sakakawea Medical Center in Hazen because of her knowledge and skill set. While she's worked her way up the ladder, earning her most recent title as nursing care coordinator, the work is something she does not take lightly. I think it's such a privilege to be a nurse. You know, it's such a privilege to stand on this side of the bed. You know, we're there in some of the most precious moments of people's lives, the most vulnerable moments of people's lives, and just to be able to do that is is an honor and it's a privilege. A Hazen graduate, Molly knew from an early age that she wanted to work in the medical field. Well, I worked here as an aide in high school, actually, and I loved it. I just fell in love with it, and I've been here ever since. While Molly knew that's what she wanted to study, she never imagined she'd be back in Hazen to live out her career and raise a family. Early on, she had an opportunity to work in a large hospital, but also an opportunity to work in rural health at Sakakawea Medical Center. She said, go, do it you know, go to rural health, you are gonna be a better nurse for it. And she was so right. Rural nurses have to be, you know, kind of a jack of all trades. We never know what's coming in. You could take care of a newborn and you could take care of a 85 year old. Molly enjoys rural health so much that she's continued to work at Sakakawea Medical Center for 13 years. Just to be able to create a connection with them and a relationship, that's, that's what it's all about. She says those relationships are instrumental in helping patients heal, and connections with her coworkers are instrumental in helping her grow. I work with the best people. I work with the best nurses and the best aides, um, and coming to work is fun. Faith also plays an important role in Molly's profession. We were talking about as a, as a group the other day, you know, the holiest places. And for me, that's at the bedside of a patient, um, especially a patient who's, who's passing. Um, if you can't find God in that, in that environment, you know, he is, he is right there. Molly's faith helps her stay strong for her patients, her children, and everything she does day in and day out. I think when you love what you do, um, that shines through in your work and shines through to your patients and your coworkers. And I just hope I can be you know, a light for people. I hope I can be a bright spot in their day because um, I really love what I do. Molly Nelson, a top-notch, trusted, and well-known nurse dedicated to her community is someone you should know. Now, Molly also sits on the Dollars for Scholars board. She teaches Sunday school and volunteers for a variety of causes, but she says number one is her family. And Molly spends a lot of time chasing her two boys around in hockey and baseball and t-ball, and she and her husband also enjoy hiking and golfing. So if you think there is someone we should know like Molly, you can send either myself or Nicholas an email at ndfirst at kxnet. Dot com. Certainly busy, staying busy for a yeah. for good cause. And, and, and rural cause, health, like I she say. said, you know, you, you cover the gamut. Right, oh yeah. You know, it's amazing the work they do. Absolutely. So, thank you, Molly. Now it's time to check in once again with meteorologist Don Schaefer. Yeah, we're going to